Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Brittany and today we have Powerful Leg Day. Low impact, no jumping, which means it's perfect for anyone in an apartment who has a baby sleeping in the room next door or has any lower body injuries. We are going to start in a lunge. So, reverse lunge with a single dumbbell. We're gonna stay on this leg, go as deep as you can, pop it up, and then go back down. If you have two weights, you wanna drop two weights down by your side, especially if you only have fives or something, that's totally an option too. Next up, we're going to keep with this motion, but twist into a curtsy lunge. So you're going to have 10 seconds off here. If you want to take a break, you can. If you want to just keep going through it, that's another option. So we're going to go into a curtsy now, where your foot is coming behind you. Your knee should be still be staying over that second toe. Same leg. Next up, we're going to take this curtsy and go side to side. So it's going to be curtsy, squat in the middle, curtsy, other side. Okay, you're going to keep going back and forth when the, day, when the bell dings. Remember, you can take the 10 seconds off if you want. Quick little shake out. Get ready for side to side curtsies with a squat in the middle. All right. Shoulders are tall. Belly button is coming up and in. So we're going to go back to our reverse lunge on the opposite side next. Ten seconds. Regular reverse lunge. As you're coming up, think about using that front foot so that back foot is not pushing off and giving you momentum. That front foot is pulling you up instead. Ten seconds off, shake it out. Curtsy next. Same leg. The whole time. You can do it. Turn forward so you can see me. So if you have a history of knee pain, knee injury, you don't have to take it super far behind you in that curtsy. Just take it a couple inches out. Think about that knee staying over your toe, and you'll still feel a difference between that first lunge. Curtsy side to side, coming up next. This time, you can keep your weight if you want to, but I'm gonna show you, when you curtsy, you're gonna stay low, and then transition to the other side. Go ahead and join me. Think about your position when you're coming up in that squat like we talked about. Is your butt sinking back? Is your torso staying tall? You get a break after this one. Like a full 45 second pound break. Next up, go 
Bulgarian split squats. So one foot is going to go up onto the chair. Weight is optional. This is going to be a little bit more of a balanced one. You're going to want to hop your front foot out so it's pretty far so that when you go down, your knee is staying over that second toe and you have control of it. Your knee on this one is going to want to go in and out depending on any weaknesses in your adductors or abductors. So you got to make sure that your form is slow, focused, and then get as deep as you can in these Bulgarian split squats. All right, find your position. Woo. This is technically your 10 seconds off in between what would have been a set there that we took a break on. You're going to hear, yep, there's the other bell. Now, if you want to get super deep, pull that back toe all the way to the edge of the chair, and that'll let you get even deeper. So we're here on this leg for this set. You're going to take that 10 seconds off to shake out. We're going to come back to the same leg and stay in that bottom half, okay? All right, quick shake out. You're going to need it. Same position, same leg, bottom half. If you're burning, you can just pop up, take a break, and then jump back down into that bottom half. Woo, you can do it. Don't start rolling forward here. Keep a tall spine. And then tipping off. Same leg, but this time we're going to go down, halfway up, 
Back down and up. Same side. Think about giving yourself a nice stretch on that inner thigh of the standing leg. Our first move is going to be squat, 
Hands are coming up in a triangle like this. Knee up to your elbow. And you're switching sides. Now if your band starts sliding, you can bring your hands down and keep it in place. Just think about bringing where your knees up to where your elbows would be. If your band is good, bring them up and tap. And it's okay if it's kind of creeping up a little bit. We'll readjust it in between our moves. Ten seconds. Think about your squat form. Shoulders are tall. Let's push it back. Good, 10 seconds up. Adjust your band if you need to. We're gonna go into regular squats, so feet are shoulder width apart. You're going down, halfway, down, three quarters way, down, up with the butt squeeze. Half, three quarters, up with squeeze. Get as low as you can go in between. Five seconds. Good, quick break. Next up, you're gonna hold that squat low, tap lateral. Take it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Do a little dance. Here we go. Think about your torso being as still as you can. And you get just a little bit lower. Half inch. Something tiny. 20 seconds left here. Come on, don't freeze up. We're only doing this one once. Good. Next up. You're going to get into like a chair pose for yoga. So you're going to be holding this here. Back booty raise. If you have to put your hands on your band to keep it stable, you can. Single leg raise to the back. Slight lean forward in your torso, but your back is still flat. Shoulders are rolled back. Put them in those back pockets. Think about which leg is moving right now. You're going to stay the same side up next, but up next we'll be moving into a lateral raise. Come on, keep that leg straight. The standing butt cheek should be on fire. Woo! Same position, same standing leg. This leg is going out to the side. Here we go. It does not have to go high. I would rather it stay low than you be like twisting your torso and injuring yourself or falling over. As high as you can raise it, this side should hurt already. Woo! You can do this. Don't quit. Just do your best. All the way to the ding. We're switching sides next, starting with the opposite side into that booty raise in the back. Good. Woo wee! Let's shake it out. Here we go. Think about your torso. Tall, strong, powerful, confident. Straighten that back leg and raise it. If your band is staying put, you can do whatever you want with your arms. Prayer might be nice. Core, so start bringing some attention to your core here. Whenever you're facing the ground, gravity is taking a toll and pulling your abdominals down. You gotta pull them back up, fight that gravity. All right, lateral. You're doing great. Okay. 
feeling it like I am. Feels great. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back. Put them in your back pocket as you're standing here. Again, your torso can have a little bit of a forward lean, but those shoulders can still be back. Mommy, how's your row workout? Hey, buddy. It's good. In a standing 
same calf raise, you're working your gastrocnemius, which is the big calf muscle. There's another calf muscle called the soleus. When you are in a seated calf raise, you're working the soleus more. So we're going to stay here, but bend and do calf raises down here now. I want you to lean back as far as you can without tipping over and pulling your chair. So use that chair for stability, but think about like you're sitting back in a chair. Next up, we're going to go straight to a wall sit. You have 10 seconds during that break to eye up your wall and find your wall sit. All right, here we go. So we're going to be down. Band is still on your legs. Calf raise down here. Get as low as you can in that wall set. My quads are yelling at me already. If you can, take your hands off your legs. Don't be pushing down. Raise them up, or at least keep them light. Move your fingertips around. Breathe. Make sure in these 10 seconds off, you pop up, shake your legs out. Or you can 
go ahead and join in if you're ready. Nice slow movement, flat back, shoulders stay back. Leg is mostly straight, slight bend in that standing leg. Woo! I'm going to lose my balance. Alright, switch inside. 
Can you get there, really? Good. Drop it back 
in a child's pose. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And don't forget to like the video that you just saw and feel free to comment below. I'm Drea. I'm Britt. We'll see you next time.